You're like right in the neck. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, good game for you last time out. Is your confidence starting to build and does, does that help you continue with that? Um, definitely. I think uh, the confidence that Coach Brad has in me um, and all my teammates is helping me a lot. Um, just me getting those minutes and um, just staying ready. Chester's in a jersey in there. Uh, has he kind of explained the importance of the Indiana rivalry? Oh, yeah, definitely. He's, he's been telling us about it all week. Uh, Y'all seen he posted a thing on Twitter. So uh, it's big for all of us, uh, especially guys like Luke who, who are from Indiana. So uh, it's going to be a good one. Do you catch wind of how big of a rivalry Illinois Indiana has been for the years? Does it matter much to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously me being here, um, it just it just goes along with everything. Um, but over the years before I came here, I always watched the game. Um, it's always been crazy. Uh, so I'm excited. What's changed and what's helped you this year and you developed and starting to play well right now? Um, I would I give a lot of credit to the veteran guys. Um, they just they just helped me so much. Obviously, they've been through things like this before. Um, so they just tell me to stay calm and stay patient and just keep working. Overall, what's your bench mean to you guys? How important is that for you guys? Oh, I mean, it's, it's huge. Like um, like last game, um, Dane was in foul trouble. Lee came in and gave us great minutes. So um, I think everybody's important in this team, um, especially because we're low on numbers. So um, just everybody being ready. It's like you kind of found comfort as an offensive runner and cutter in this offense. How do you feel like you've kind of like, how do you guys, how comfortable do you feel in kind of the role that you've been kind of placed in now? Um, I feel pretty comfortable. Um, it's just, uh, game by game, um, depending on how the game is going and how it's flowing, uh, but I feel pretty comfortable. What's your personal approach to defense, the mindset that you got to have out there? Uh, just, just be a lockdown defender, uh, be a great help side defender, get as many blocks as I can, um, just whatever it is that, that I can help the team with. What has to change in your approach when, when you go from guarding a point guard to guarding Gar Dawson Garcia? Right. Uh, I think just being more physical. Um, we're guarding point guards, it's more side to side and moving your feet. Uh, we're guarding bigger guys like Garcia, um, using more of your chest and, and things like that. Did you find yourself as a freshman overwhelmed with that responsibility just because that's what they were kind of asking you to do? Um, or, or is that something you've developed over time? Um, not at all, honestly. Um, I've been a, I feel like I've been a good defender my whole life. So uh, when they ask me to do stuff like that, I get excited. You've kind of always had the junkyard dog uh, reputation. What, what's the next step for you offensively, you think? Um, really just keep getting more comfortable um, within the offense um, and, and just go from there. The players talk about the game slowing down as they start to get experience. Do you feel like that's – or how has that happened for you in this season? Um, I think I think the more I started to get on the court, the more I was able just to settle down, um, let my nerves loose, and just let all the stress and anxiety, um, just let that go. Uh, I feel like the, the past couple of games has been really, really well for me. Um, I feel like I've just been able to play free. What helps you anticipate the most? Is it film prep? Is it, uh, like you said, the experience and elimination of nerves? Yeah, I was for me. For me personally, it's the, um, the elimination of nerves and, and stress and things like that. Um, just at the end of the day, it's basketball. Um, it's what I, I work hard at. So uh, I think that's the biggest thing for me. Just being kind of against a couple of their freshmen in the Jordan Brand game. Yeah, I played against um, Shafino and uh, Malik. Yeah. What do you know about them? Um, Shafino is really, he's a really good point guard, can really shoot it. Uh, he loves to get downhill. Um, I think that's going to be a good matchup for our guards. Yes, what do you kind of enjoy or what kind of excites you about that challenge of guarding such a wide spectrum of players? Um, I think for me, um, like he said, junkyard dog. Uh, I feel like that's just kind of what represents me and who I am and where I'm from. Um, so when I get that challenge, um, it's just I just get real excited. It's been a couple of weeks since Northwestern. How much have yeah. things changed since then? Man, tremendously. I feel like we're a lot more connected as a team. Um, I just feel like on the court, we're just we're tight, man. Um, I feel like we're moving the ball way better. Um, we're getting into our offense faster. Um, and it's been it's been special to see. How does that help a mood or a vibe or a team chemistry come together? Man, everything like just from things in a locker room to outside of outside of basketball, um, just everything. We're just way more connected, and it's been amazing. What do you pinpoint that to? Exactly? Um, I would say um, our leaders like Terrence and, and Matt and Coleman, um, they make sure we get together a couple times a week. Uh, we might just watch a basketball game or little stuff like that. So that, that's been huge for us.
You mentioned you know, Penny has made blocks again defensively. What's made this team such a good shot blocking team without maybe like you know, some seven footer? Um, I really just think in practice, I think Coach Frazier does a great job of just um, just pushing us and making us go hard. Uh, we preach tough twos, um, so obviously we're going to try to force everybody off the three-point line. So um, and just getting getting to the rim, miles go off with two hands, not fouling. Um, I think that's something we work on every day, um, so it's been big for us. So you said you saw when Chester posted on Twitter. What did you mm -hmm. think of uh, his uh, little... Brush with Eric Gordon there. Uh, I got excited, man. It's just uh, Coach Frage, he, he's a dog, man. Uh, he always talks about like what he used to do. So for me to be able to see it, it was it was cool. A couple of games ago, you're on the floor slapping it, and it kind of seemed to be a big moment for the team. Did you realize in that moment that that was symbolic of anything bigger than just you're excited? Um, I think I think for the team, just overall, that was huge. Um, we were at that point, we're just, we're getting back on a getting back on a roll. Um, so for us just to have that energy, um, it helped a lot. Mm -hmm. you think, is, are you trying to pass that on to your team when you're doing that, or is that just you being um, emotional? I think it's a little bit of both. It's, it's me showing my emotion and, and knowing while I'm doing that, it's helping my team get energy too. Mm -hmm. Where does your mind go when the team is asking you to check a Dawson Garcia at 6'10", and tomorrow night could be asking you to check Trace for, for a while? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm always excited for the task. Um, yeah, man, I just get excited when I get to guard the best player in the other team. Uh, I feel like I've always done that in high school, middle school. Um, so it's nothing new to me. Just have a little fun on somebody playing catch on that. Who'd be best suited on this team to go across the street and play football? Oh, there's a couple of us. Honestly, I think myself, um, I think Sincere, uh, I think TJ, um, Luke, Luke could throw. Uh, I, think, I think a few of us. Connor Servin, big, I think Connor could be a great tight end. Um, yeah, I think a few of us. Sincere corner? Yeah, sincere yeah. corner for sure. Corner, maybe safety, yeah. Are you wide out? Yeah, I, I'd probably say wide out, defensive man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to put like a 7-on-7 seven seven team together, like challenge the whole <laughs> team? Or? Uh, maybe one day, man. That'd be, that'd be super cool.